Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Carl's Tech Shed. Right, what I've got for you this morning is a uh, load of servers I've got. Um, I got these last night, they were actually from uh, someone on eBay. Uh, what it was, I bought one um, on a single auction for 99 pence and uh, when I went to pick it up from North London, uh, not far from where I work, uh, they said to me, oh by the way we've got another 20 of these upstairs if you if you care to take them away. So I thought, okay, why not? So um, I had them delivered last night and here they are. Well, the one I picked up is that one there and um, when I actually picked it up it was loose as it is but the ones which arrived were in boxes. As you can see there's my little son Adam sitting on all the boxes. He's quite happy with it. Um, so yeah, uh, it was a bit of a job to get them in but I think it was worth it. Uh, as you'll see, what I'll, um, I'll open one up so you can see what the specification is. Right, now as I said, there's no hard drives in these, but someone's also taken the memory out of these, but they are um, dual processor, uh, they're dual, dual processor AMD, AMD Opterons, uh, they are, actually I've got all specs up here, uh, this is one of the, this is the specs for processors, uh, they are second generation uh, AMD Opterons, they're dual core, socket F1207 LGAs, uh, they've got one meg, of level two, uh, one meg of level 2 cache per core and they are 64 bit processors, so in all there's 20 of these here in total. Uh, so in, a to uh, in total there's 80 cores, which, is, which would be one hell of a powerful machine if I were able to cluster them together, but I can see some power issues with that because each of these have a excuse me, each of these have a 750 watt power supply in the back which uh, which means if I were to link them all together I'd be burning about 15 kilowatts and unfortunately I don't have a three phase power supply which means um, I'd probably knock out the electrics in the house and probably the rest of the street if I powered all of these on at once. Um, maybe a bit of an exaggeration about knocking out the whole street but certainly knock out the uh, consumer unit in the house. But as you can see, um, the hard drives go in the front. Um, I'll just turn one of these around. Uh, as you can see, someone's been absolutely paranoid about where these have come from because they've even removed the um, custom badge which obviously went over here. Um, which would have had the company logo on, so not only have they removed all the asset tags um, and the hard drives, but they've also removed the um, they've also removed their company logo. Um, so I can only imagine these would have come from a bank or somewhere like that. But as I say, there's no hard drives. Um, all of these had to be they they were removed before I even got them. Uh, I was told they had to be crushed because they had sensitive data on, which I can quite understand. Um, inside, oh, sorry, on the back, uh, we've got. A few ports. Now this one actually has a RAID card in it, but the majority of them um, have had the RAID card and the memory pulled out. But it's not too much of a problem because the boards are very useful and so are the power supplies. But on the back we've got dual gigabit ethernet, we've got a VGA port, an RS-232, a couple of USB 2s, uh, a 10100 LAN and a keyboard and mouse. But overall it's a very high quality build, you know. Um, um, there's there's no company branding on who these um, who these were manufactured by, so I'm probably going to guess that these were either custom built or um, they just had the branding removed um, for the purpose of um, personalisation by having a company logo on there. But yeah, I mean these are pretty pretty good units overall. Um, as I say now, I, I I can't really use them in a cluster, so uh, I'm going to have to find something else to do with them. But um, if anyone wonders how much I paid for them, I paid uh, nothing for the servers and all I had to pay was the £45 delivery driver um, to, to go and pick them up, which was uh, quite a bargain really. It works out about just over £2 a server, which is uh, incredibly good value for money. Well, thank you for watching and um, I'll have a few more videos up shortly. Um, hopefully before I move, um, not moving just yet, all the paperwork's still going through but uh, hopefully in the next few weeks. Well, the missus did say to me don't buy any more servers um, but I think this, I can exclude this because technically I didn't pay for them, I only paid for the delivery so um, I might get away with that one. <laughs> well, I'll have another video up soon so thanks for watching guys.